Ben, if we go out on an expedition, what's the typical fossil find that we might have on any typical day? You have a chance of finding megalodon. You also have a chance of finding horse teeth. And you never know, you might even find a mammoth tooth. Well, thank you for inviting us to your dive shop. It's been really great meeting you guys. And we appreciate the fossil hunters coming to the Venice Dive Center, and we hope you come back real soon. Early the next morning, I boarded Aquanuts Dive Charter with Captain Mike, Jeff Carter, and fossil hunter Ben Schultz. Everything down there is dead. What do you think? You want to stay or move? We'll stay here. Despite the effects red tide might have on us, we begin our descent and our fossil hunt. Upon reaching the bottom, we're met with a hazy few feet of visibility. We stay close to one another. It's a challenge to both film and fossil hunt at the same time. I'm finding bone fragments, but look away for a few seconds, and my dive buddies are gone. After re-establishing my bearings, we continue the hunt. Ben finds a couple of bone fragments. They're whale ribs. He also helps us search in a grid pattern. Here's a deer antler. An equus horse tooth. And then it happens, that familiar triangular shape. A megalodon tooth. It's not the best tooth. Its enamel is peeling and the root is worn. But it's still a three inch tooth and it's the only meg of our dive so far. I gesture to indicate the next find. It's the edge of a giant tortoise shell. Here's another well-encrusted bone fragment. A chunk of ivory. And not far from it, a piece of turtle shell. I use my dive knife to knock off some barnacles from a chunk of bone. In this limited visibility, the three of us keep checking on each other. It's heartbreaking to see all the dead sea life caused by the red tide. The seafloor is littered with it. I once again become separated from the team. The red tide hovers above me like a thick gelatin. But I decide my best bet is to swim through it to the surface and look for bubbles. The water becomes more and more red the higher I climb. And when I break through the surface, I'm alone. <laughs> 